Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. I make the best Italian food in the world. I'm awesome. Chef Ramsay heads to Stamford, Connecticut. Same sh different town. To take on Sammy. I can't believe you're telling my food sucks. I honestly think you're out of your fucking mind. An out of control owner who's destroying his restaurant. Jose! I don't really give a fuck. Shut it down. Don't fucking do nothing. There's only one chief, and that's me. Sammy is in denial about his food. The food is fucking bad, yeah. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's, it's not... fucking disgusting. Should have fucking punched him in the face for talking to me like that. And even the customers can't escape his wrath. I don't want you to stick it back in a microwave. Nobody's talking about microwave. You're the one who's talking about microwave. Do you work for a microwave company? But I just wanted to pick her up and throw her out. That is wow. rude. With only one week to turn it around, can Gordon break through to Sammy? Take your head out your asshole and get real with me. Come on! Nobody talks to me like that. Or is this owner beyond repair? I don't need this jerk off to fucking tell me about how I run my business. Tonight, it's the battle of Gordon versus Sammy. You look pissed like you're ready for a fight. What all the fucking truth? I'm tired of it! Stamford, Connecticut is a city that has a vast variety of restaurants. Smack in the center of town is Sabatello's, an Italian eatery opened three years ago by its owner, Sammy Settembre. Known for his once successful pizzeria, Sammy has been struggling with this venture and is only months from closing. How we doing, guys? I was eight years old when I started. I worked at my brother Benny's restaurant, starting at making pizza. I always had a dream of a really nice restaurant. Hey, how are you? I'm how you doing, man? I make everybody feel like a superstar when they come to Subatel's because I'm a superstar, and that's why my name is on there. It's all about me. How are you tonight? Good, thank you. You're welcome. I've been with Sammy for two and a half years, and the restaurant was really busy all the time, and it slowly declined. Now we need some customers. I know. I can't believe this. Usually we have a couple tables. We have an awesome, beautiful place. I think the decor is excellent. I don't know why people are not eating here. The food is good. It fucking kills me. Where is this guy? It was hard as a rock. Yeah. And it tastes yeah. disgusting. Yeah. If you think of something else to complain about, please get me. I'll be downstairs. The Neimer at Sabatiello's, it's Sammy. He can be really nasty. Don't the fucking go to work. If not, go to fuck home. Hear me? Calamari. Oh, me. To be honest with you, it was edible. That was about it. Thank God you didn't have a microphone with you. I don't want everybody to hear it. I think that if Sammy doesn't change, I don't think it would make it another year. Bye. Fuck out of here. Damn, eight meatballs in here. Why we put so many meatballs? Was your friend of yours? Man, you guys go bowling together? My restaurant's a nightmare because my staff doesn't listen to me all the time. Why you gotta be a big shot with my money, bro? Be a big shot on your day off. Thanks, pal. And let us talk. I presently have over a million dollars in debt to this restaurant. I have a house on the line, and uh, I clean out my savings. Everything rides on this place. 25 or 125? 125. You sure? Sammy is very stressed out. When I look at him, knowing him for so many years, I can see a different person. He's just not as happy as he used to be. I should have been a fucking mailman, swear to God. I waited my whole life to step up to this plate, which is this really nice restaurant. You know, and if I lose this restaurant, I lose my life, because my restaurant is my life. As Gordon walks through Stamford, he catches up on Sabatello's most recent food reviews. Right, food review, Sabatello's. Uh, food mediocre, don't get robbed. The owner is the most obnoxious human being I've ever dealt with. Two-star food at four-star prices. Here we are. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, very well deep, thank you. Let me get you a table. Maybe go upstairs and uh, have a bite to eat. Yeah, I'll show you. Yes, yeah. upstairs, let me get a menu. I wasn't really nervous when Chef Ramsay came to the restaurant because I make the best Italian food in the world. I'm awesome, and it speaks for itself. Well, I can't wait to look around. My God, look at this. Isn't it inviting, nice and warm? It is nice and warm. So if the decor's nice and warm, the host is nice and warm, it must be all about the food, right? My food is good. My food is very good. So um, what would you recommend for lunch? My lasagna is homemade. All this is fresh, right? Yes, everything else is fresh. If it's not fresh, we don't sell it. The soup of the day is a? It's a, a wedding soup. It consists of vegetables and little mini meatballs. It's really nice. Actually, the best balls in town. It's awesome. People love it. OK. When Chef Ramsay sat down, the first thing I thought, man, this guy's going to be surprised. He's definitely going to do some kind of cartwheels after he eats his food. So, he's, got, he's got a few items he wants. So we start off with the soup of the day. 
Uh, I'm going to try the lasagna, that's homemade. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I'll finish up with a New York strip. How do you want that cooked? Mid rare. Steak rare. Steak rare, excuse me, please. And how long have you been here, David? Three years. Three years, wow. Did you put his order? Okay. Did you put his order in so he can? I'm talking to him. I just want to make sure you take care of him. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. OK, so why does he interrupt you like that? Uh, I... Sometimes I, in the middle, I'm giving like specials. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I gotta uh, bring Dave in. The, I'm like, damn. I'm talking to the, the yeah. people. They feel like, what's the matter with him? Gosh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Sammy, he got no manners, and I think somebody gotta teach him how he gotta be when he's working. Give me first the lasagna, and then you're gonna give me the uh, sirloin steak. You hear what he said? Make it nice, please. You got that wedding soup, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that was quick. We got Thank soup. You. Lovely. Mm -hmm. mm. It's hideous. Like a mishmash of bits of shit put together and brought to the boil, and anemic grey meatballs in there. Mm. How was your soup? Yeah. That's a wedding soup? That's to get him in the mood to get married. Jesus. I'd rather get fucking divorced. Oh, my God. And that's made fresh every day, is it? Normally, our soups last two days. Two days? How could it be soup of the day when it's soup of yesterday? <sighs> and it's sort of, it's bland. Anyway, hopefully. Hopefully the other dishes will be better. Thank you. Soup of the day. You said the soup, the soup is bland, it's not good? That soup was two days old, but that doesn't mean it's garbage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is he, a fucking health department critic? Oh, my god. Chef, you say the soup is not good. Well, I can't throw the soups out. That's the rules. What I want you to do is take two lasagnas out. Put them in the mic. Make sure the lasagna's nice and hot, Manny. I told him it's my homemade lasagna, my signature item, OK? Do the right thing. Lasagna, please. Manny, got dish one. Wow. Here's your lasagna. Homemade lasagna. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Someone drop it. Jesus. Here we've got, like, white bits of chicken or veal. But there seems to be something slightly synthetic and plastic inside that tastes absolutely hideous. And if that is homemade, I'll fucking dance in this restaurant tonight, start bollock naked. Because that is not homemade. Holy crap. With a steak. Thank you. What is that in there? That's the uh, ground beef. That's beef. It looks like canned dog food. Ask the chef where the uh, recipe's from, if it's homemade. Don't the recipe of the la lasagna. Which one? Which one? You want to know uh, if it's a homemade lasagna? Where you get the recipe? My mother. And where you put ground beef? And uh, what was the? Because it's Italian lasagna. It's not a goddamn Chinese lasagna. Jesus. It's a tough steak, not seasoned, greasy. The food is consistent. Consistently poor. What a shame. OK, I'm done. That's full of grease. Where do the steaks come from? Who buys them? Is that Sammy? Yep. The food is really, really bad in all aspects. We've been trying to tell this Sammy for a long time. But of course, because we are the employees, they don't listen. Having had a good taste of some bad dishes, Gordon heads to the kitchen to meet with Sammy and head chef Jose. Hey, guys. How you doing? Let's go through it together, shall we? Yeah? Soup was hideous. How old is that soup? The soup has been, like, uh, three days with me, yeah. Three days with yeah. you, yeah. It tasted like it. It tasted disgusting. Bland, and everything was cooked to fuck. The lasagna, let's quickly go on to that. That was unique. Uniquely shit. That's homemade. Where is it? Tom, where is lasagna is over there. Yeah. Can you get me a portion? Why was it dry in the middle? Was there it sauce? Sean, we proportion it, we cut them. That's it's frozen. He says, it, he says it's frozen. How old is that? That's the lasagna I make the last week of priority. We make three trays of lasagna at a time, and then we proportion them, and then we freeze them. We right. take some up as we need them. OK, so it's not fresh. That's what I'm trying to say. But does right. it mean it's bad? It's a... Does it mean it's bad? I'm Italian, man. Here's a guy from Scotland. What the fuck's he know about lasagna? Does any chef throw food away if it's not bad? Answer that, Mr. Ramsey. Any chef? Yes. Yeah. Hello? 
You're going to throw it away? Should I answer it, or are you going to fucking... No, uh, fucking uh, tell me. Go ahead, uh, fucking tell me. Are you getting upset now? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. A little bit, maybe. Every not. fucking chef I know makes lasagna fresh every day. When Chef Ramsey started critiquing, telling me all these bad things about my food, I felt like, what is this guy out of his mind? Then the biggest disappointment was the steak. Who buys the steak? That's the toughest steak I've ever eaten. I dropped down on the steaks because my business has dropped. It was a choice steak. It's not my Black Angus. You're right. I love the way I, you got excuses for everything. I couldn't do anything right. I mean, it, was, it was amazing. It was very hard for me to swallow. I, cu I couldn't believe it. He said everything I did was wrong. You're very pumped up. I have you ever thought? Because I believe we have good stuff. Yeah. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. I think maybe you walk up uh, on the wrong side of the bed. I get out the same side of the bed every day. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that food was bland. I, I can't believe you're telling me my food sucks. I can't believe it. I, I, I honestly think you're out of your fucking mind. It ain't, it ain't. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I think you're a little too critical, overcritical. The minute you get down off your high horse and start understanding what the fuck's wrong with this place, then we may have something compatible to work with. Are you finished? Are you done? Am I done? I can't believe it. I've just started. Unbelievable. OK, I'm going to clear my head. I wanted some, uh, some fucking, I need some fresh air. Yeah, want me to show you where the door is? Oh, I'll go through that one there. Thanks. He critiqued the shit out of me and just like really broke my balls. And this guy's out of control. You know, I think someone needs to put him in line. Let me tell you something, man. For a guy to talk like that in front of me like that, I can't believe it. And he's still alive and we didn't shoot him? Fucking kill that guy? Coming up, the battles intensify. What the fuck is that? Between Chef Ramsay and Sammy. That is chicken novella. It's cooked halfway. It's shit. And Gordon is shocked when Sammy takes on a customer. Wait, well, you stick it back in a microwave. All right, put it in the microwave. Nobody's talking about microwave. You're the one who's talking about microwave. Do you work for a microwave company? And later, a brawl with Gordon. They finally push Sammy over the edge. Do me a favor. Take your head out your asshole and get real with me. Nobody talks to me like that. You look uh, pissed like you're ready for a fight. What all the fucking truth? I'm tired of it. After a night filled with Sammy's excuses, Gordon decides to take a closer look at the kitchen. Right. This place is spotless. Absolutely spotless. Amazing. What the fuck? Raw chicken and cooked chicken. Where's Sammy? What the fuck's that? What is that? Yeah, it's called chicken novella. When were they cooked? Sunday we do those chickens. Can you get me Sammy, please? Yeah? Fuck it now. Same shit, different town. Sammy, have a quick look around the kitchen. Uh, the place is spotless, yeah? Very clean. Kitchen's immaculate. We try. Unfortunately, the shit I found in the fridge. What's this? Have a look at this. That's not the way we cook, is it? What have we got? Chicken franchise there. Yeah. Cooked. Sat there. What's, yeah? What, and what's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? What's that set next to it? That's uh, grilled chicken marinade. We do it for sandwiches and for salads. That's raw chicken, Sammy. We can't put them close by each other? Oh, come on. I know you want to mouth off and tell me how fucking wrong I am and I'm a fucking meatballer, but that's appalling. What's this here? It gets worse. What the fuck is that? And why is it cooked? Because it, we have to make it raw and bake it in the oven. It's going to take too long. The customers are not going to wait. They're going to leave. Well, customers aren't here, so how can they leave if they're not here to begin with? It's a nice dish. People like it. It's shit. I don't know. He comes in like his shit doesn't stink, and I was trying to be prepared, but he gets my blood rolling, and he's out of fucking control. Can you do me a favor? Can you get rid of the cooked meat and put them with cooked meat and the raw meat with raw meat before we fucking kill someone? He's right. He's right. Argue back. I'm dying. Holy crap. You know, you know that, bro. Jose, you're killing me. My kitchen staff, they're not doing their job. Everybody wants to do something their own way, and there's only one chief, and that's me. Oh, my god. For dinner? Yes, please. Main course, I got a stuffed filet of salt, stuffed with a crab meat. The uh, New York strip. Yeah. <laughs> dinner service tonight is going to be outstanding. And I want to show Chef Ramsey that we really do know how to make good stuff. Jose, I'm waiting for table three. Is that salt almost ready? Thank God. What's this salt stuff with, Jose? Uh, I do vegetables and imitation crab meat. Imitation crab meat? Yeah. Why imitation? Crap meat's too expensive. 
I like fresh stuff in the house. Well, Sammy don't let me do it. And everybody got to follow what he says. How, uh, how can we have a special or a soul stuff with fake crab meat? No, it's not all fake. We, we, uh, Jose, you, you told me the crab meat's fake? There is some crab meat. I, no, I can't no, wait no. what kind of bullshit you're going to come back with now. No, no bullshit at all. Normally, we do put the lump crab meat. We do. $28. Are you taking the fucking piss out of Sampa? We all make mistakes, you know? Maybe I cut some corners, but don't call me a liar or a cheat or a dishonest guy. I wouldn't be this far being a liar, cheat, and dishonest. So I think you should fucking take it back. I mean, hey. You're making me look horrible in front of this guy. You're my number one guy, right? Son of a bitch. That was a fish. That's not good. Excuse okay. me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. What's the matter with this? You say it's not fresh. You say it's not, it's not good. But well, it's fucking watery. I know the taste. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, though. It's not bad. Not bad. Oh, no. Come on. He spits it out. It's not bad. You're fucking delusional. It's not. It's, it's not. It's mushy. It's watery. It's not the right crab meat. Right. And it's fucking disgusting. You'll jump him down like a big fucking baboon and go, oh, it's good. <laughs> I think we make great food. If I didn't make great food, I wouldn't be here. So for this asshole to fucking tell me that I'm not doing good, it really pissed me off, to be honest with you. Watching this restaurant perform is embarrassing. Fake fucking crab meat inside a stole is pretty obvious. It's become the appendix of restaurants in Stanford. You just want to get rid of it and get it out. Bollocks. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I think I'd like to have it just a little bit more done. A little more? Yeah. Okay. Give me one. What's the matter? Listen, Jose. What's the matter? Cook a, li a little more, a little bit. What's wrong, on it? Cold in the middle. All right, put it in the microwave. Just put it in the microwave. Put it in a minute and a half. Come in the rock and lamb? The rock and lamb right now. Perfect, or you need more? I kind of got the idea that maybe someone just took this plate because the plate's pretty warm, and maybe just stuck it back into a microwave instead of putting the lamb chops back into a pan. You need more? Yes, thank you. Well, what's the matter with it now? No, what's the matter with it now? He said, you one. Uh... Fucking busted my balls. Now, wait, let me see. Now it's too much cooking for it. It's too fucking rare. And now it's too much? How do they want the meat the first time? Oh, my God. How do they want it cooked? Sammy, I don't know. It's... I'm going to go fucking ask the lady right now. With food now coming back, it's a perfect opportunity for Gordon to witness Sammy's customer service skills. How did you want your meat cooked? Do you want it rare? How do you I want it medium rare. So can we make you another one? Will you wait, or you don't want it at all? I'll wait, but the thing is, is I don't want you to stick it back in a microwave. If it's not... No, we're going to throw that out and make you a new one. Nobody's talking about microwave. You're the one who's talking about microwave. They came out of a microwave. Otherwise, they wouldn't be, like, exuding heat. Do you work for a microwave company? You know so much about a microwave. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fuck out of here. Tell take a hike. That is wow. rude to say to a customer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that lady. Taste it, Sammy. Bullshit. You told me you went to a microwave? You're going to make it. Let her wait. Let her wait now. I don't know if this lady wanted a free meal or whatever. I thought it was a total nightmare. I kept my composure. I wanted to kill her, and I did. Jose, it's not your fault. The lamb is tough. If you're even shit tools to work with, of course you're going to create shit food. Here's the lamb marker. Bring it to her. Come on, I'm going to follow you. Yeah, I want to see you cut into it. How is it? Is it still too rare? You know what? I'm done. No more chances. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. I just wanted to pick her up and throw her out. There's a, a right way and a wrong way of handling something like that, and she was totally wrong. She sends it back three fucking times asking her, how does she want to cook? Go out there and apologize to them. I don't want to apologize. Sammy. I don't give a Sammy. fuck. Let it go. Sammy. Sick of it. Go out and apologize to them. I'm actually really embarrassed that he that he made a scene with one of the customers tonight. Regardless of what happened, the customer is always right in a customer service business. So fucking mad. It sucks. I'm like so upset inside. I'm fucking fumigating. Tonight I look like a jerk off for this asshole. The real job tonight. You know something? Don't even make it none of us. Shut everything fucking down and forget it. I don't really give a fuck. Shut it down. Don't fucking do nothing. So fucking mad. Tonight I look like a jerk off for this asshole. 
After a frustrating evening in the kitchen and in the front of house, Sammy has hit his breaking point. You know something? Don't even fucking make it none. Shut everything fucking down and forget it. I don't really give a fuck. Shut it down. Don't fucking do nothing. It was uh, one of the worst nights of my life. And uh, I wanted to strangle the customers tonight. I wanted to strangle my guys, especially in the kitchen, everybody. It was just a total nightmare. It was a mess. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you guys. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's not your fault. Thank you for being so understanding. I really appreciate it. I'm the person that apologizes for Sammy because he won't do it. And I don't want his reputation to be any worse than I guess people already see it. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't believe it. All the time he does this, the same story, all the time the same problem. So, I mean, he don't care. I fucking lost it. I feel so mad. I feel so hurt. I can't get my staff to listen. I feel like running away, to tell you the truth. After an unusual evening in which Sammy shut down his own restaurant, Gordon has now confirmed the source of the problems at Sabatello's. 58 customers we serve. Not 108, five eights. I've never seen 58 covers done in such a difficult way. You know that. Is that normal for you to go into the kitchen like that and talk to them like that? If I didn't go in there at all, forget about it. We yeah. wouldn't have 20 entrees yeah. come back. You've got no right as an owner to be so selfish and start picking on fucking staff or blaming customers. The problem is with you. Come on, are you serious? You agitate customers. You agitate staff. Why are you so negative? What do you mean negative? I try to keep these guys happy. I was in there trying That's to... That's happy? Are you kidding me? Guys are making mistakes like that. No, you've got to go back to school. He said that all this is about me, the, the way the place is going wrong. Nobody talks to me like that. People come here because of me. People love my food. Sammy, I'm here to help. I see a guy that's passionate about running a restaurant, but fucking clueless. You're the hardest individual to work with, my friend. And each and every one of your staff are shit scared to tell you that. You handicap the kitchen, a menu far too big with two cooks in there, and you've got such fucking imitation material on here, they can't cook it. What do you mean imitation material? That steak's not fucking Black Angus, 1855. We used to carry Black Angus. It's what you're charging for now, Sammy. It's not about you used to. $28 for a stuffed rolled fucking fillet of sole with fake crab. Hey, you're a bullshitter. Yeah, I made some mistakes. I cut a couple corners. Why? I'm in a fucking tough spot right now. What the fuck? He would do it too, no? Look at the level of false advertising on your menu and stop taking the piss out of you and Stanford. Did you forget anything? That's it? So all this is about me? Of course it is. I've got to rethink. I've got some fucking ideas and some plans. I've got to get going quickly. But I want you to do one thing. And what's that? Take your head out your arsehole and get fucking real with me. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Stubborn fucker. I don't need this jerk off to fucking tell me about how I run my business. Don't tell me that all this is because of me. He's full of fucking shit. I didn't like that. And next time that I see him in person, I'm gonna fucking tell him. It's a new day, and Gordon has come up with a plan to get what? Sammy back on track. Yeah, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. Sit down. You look um, pissed like you're ready for a fight. Do you think I'm here to fight? No, I, don't, I think you have good intentions. You're a tough guy to get through to. I know, I know. You've got this defense mechanism that no one seems to break down. I came in early this morning to sort of talk to you, to sort of try to get through. So I want you to take me back to the beginning. I need to know more about Sammy 10 years ago. You ready? Yes. Holy mackerel. How did you get this picture? Because I had these under, under lock and key. That's the bit I like at the bottom. Only my own business, succeeding by 35. Uh, I always loved the restaurant business, working for my brother since I was small, nine years old, making dough to making sandwiches and eventually making pizza. Which brings me into this. Oh, my god. My brother Benny passed away seven years ago. Actually, get me all choked up here. This man's a hero in your life, right? He's the one that really got me motivated. I love him. He was like more of a father. I mean, I would do anything for him. He was awesome. Do you miss him? Totally, because it's like, uh, like now I, could, I would love to call him and, and ask for some advice. It's like, I don't know where to turn. It all has to come from me. I'm like, I'm bombarded everywhere. Yeah. I can't believe you got that picture. There you go. This was a huge success, this thing. That's how I made my money. That's how I, 
I bought my house in Greenwich. That's how I, I got this. Now I feel like everything is uh, draining me. I'm trying to keep this afloat, and it's not a little place anymore. Over there was smaller over it. I had less people, maybe I had more control over it. Now it's like, I don't know. Look at that. You remember that day like it was yesterday, right? <sighs> yes. Look, Reshenter gives students a taste of a career in the kitchen. He loves it. That's you in you know, mentoring, tutoring, um, prolific position. Now look at the way you were dealing with your staff and your customers last night. And you know, it's fucking night and day. And that's where I need to connect, in there. That Sammy. Not today, Sammy. I need your support, but more importantly, I need to get you back in love with the restaurant. OK. I, uh, listen, you got my word. Not 110%. I'm going to give you 220%. I want that same feeling back. I want to be that same Sam. It's sad that I wait this long. Thank you. Please. Thank I'll you for your help. Thank you. Yeah. Not so. Chef Ramsey and what he did really opened up my eyes. I feel like um, something's brewing. Something's going. Something's moving. It's the best thing I've felt in a long time, to be honest with you. Now that Sammy is focused once nice. again, Gordon has begun to make some menu changes for tonight's dinner service. Straightforward lasagna. First off, a small amount of bolognese sauce. Two nice layers. A little bit of mozzarella in the middle. Heavy ricotta on top. Nothing gets put in the freezer. In the oven now. OK. So we'll do a grilled filet mignon. Table side. A little bit of thyme on there. And we're going to roast it now in the oven. She goes. Some potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Now that Gordon has shown them how to prepare tonight's specials, he is looking for the front of the house to create some excitement in the dining room. Here we go. Two nice slices, not thin slices. Up, lift, bang, and away. And present. Great. This is just one small measure of you personally reaching out and doing something different here. Subatels has never done table side, so we're excited about it. Actually, I'm very excited. I got my confidence back. I got my balls back. I got my lasagna back on track. It's going to be great tonight. With news that Gordon Ramsay is in town, Sabatello's is busier than it has been in years. But only time will tell if we'll see the volatile Sammy or the personable, friendly Sammy. I'm going to totally have an awesome night tonight. When people walk out tonight, they're going to be thinking, wow, is that Sammy? What a difference. We got two specials for tonight. We got a nice baked lasagna. Also, I got a nice black angus filet mignon. You don't even need a steak knife, by the way. I tried the filet mignon, OK? OK, take your time. I'm very excited for tonight. I feel comfortable to go to the tables and sell the food. We're going to get, yeah, the filet. Thank you. How are we doing, Jose? You do that 13, table 13? And what about 15? You got the one for 15, which is three? This man has to talk. He doesn't open up I know, the I know. He always and in one hour's time, we're going to be fucked. Look, uh, Jose, come on, man. Help me out. Don't rush me to get to the table out. When you rush, nothing's good. Thank you, bro. All right, up the stairs, please. Be careful. Is this yeah. medium? Actually, you know what? That's really rare. <laughs> Want me to cook a little more? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I'm sorry. No problem. Just give me a few minutes, all right? Oh, no. The medium, no medium wrap. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. This is supposed to be medium, bro. Come on. Don't let me down, Jose. Come on, quick. He's, like, completely behind already. Hi. My husband's steak is raw inside. Do you want me to cook more? It's totally raw. Yeah. Take it with you, OK. You're welcome. You want a little cook a little That's more? medium. Shit. I asked for medium. Put this Please. back on the grill medium. Medium. Grill medium. No, no. What happens? Who wants no. a medium that steak? What's it say on the ticket? It said medium. Just read the ticket, pal. It's very simple. Although dinner service started out with a very cool, calm Sammy, problems in the kitchen have brought out the old Sammy. God damn it! He's doing the middle line. He's serving it up. I'm tired of fucking excuses. I'm taking all the blame here. I look like a fucking jerk off. This whole fucking town, I'm tired of it. Jose is not communicating. He's trying to do everything himself. In turn, slowing the restaurant down and making me look bad and making me go under. I am not gonna let that happen. Jose, just make the food. Damn it! Unfucking believable. 
Jose, just make the food, damn it. Although Sammy may have been the main cause of the problems last night. You don't lose, I lose. I lose everything here. Tonight, head chef Jose and the kitchen staff have dug a hole for the restaurant that is virtually impossible to get out of. You guys are not communicating. I told you, you saw 10%, you see what ticket. Ask him, what are you working on? Yes, sir. Say, no, call me. Let me know that you hear me. Yes, Sammy, I got it. I don't know you're listening. It was just a total nightmare. It was a mess. It's a real mess. Nobody had their act together. Nobody knew what they were doing. We kept getting in the weeds. We kept getting behind. Yes. Out in the dining room, the customers continue to feel the effects of the problems in the kitchen. You want me to cook a little more? A little bit more will be good. Sure. For you, it's fine. Right? I know you, you said you had a hard time doing. I'm, I'm me. Yeah, don't worry. Thanks. No problem. What's wrong? Say medium. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Fuck it now. Hey, now, listen, you've got to listen to me now. It's not good enough, Jose. Medium requested. No more excuses. Come on. you got to communicate better. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. Everything I ever fucking worked for is being shot down the tube and being a laughing stock of fucking Stanford. Who the fuck wants that? We've been here for hours. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, we're hungry. Jose, let him do the vegetables. Damn it. Man, you don't let Jose do all the work because he's too goddamn slow. We're losing everything here. He speaks Spanish, talk to me Spanish, I don't care. Yo, can you can we do 61? I can't, it's not cooked as well. Yo, do 63. Don't even, why don't we finish the tickets you have in fucking front of you? Don't even grab these tickets. Do 63, get it going. It's gone already? No, it's we, need now. It now. we need it now. You got it going? Up. It's coming now. Yeah, we need it now. Jose, we can't keep these people fucking waiting. You're better than that, Jose. God. Cold dinner. Very cold dinner, yeah. We'll be right back this afternoon. It was a disaster today. This is one of the worst nights I've ever had. Yeah, sit down. Another night, another rough service, and Sabatello's is clearly running out of time. The big issue here is the kitchen. You have had a relationship with that guy for 13 or 14 years. It's like a married couple, yeah? You've switched off from each other. You bark, he ignores. I'm not happy with him. You know something? I have been too lazy letting him do everything and not checking up on him. I'm really starting to open up my eyes. I can't count on this fucking guy anymore. Well, the fucking truth, I can't count on him. And tonight, I thought it was going to be so easy with steaks. You send a medium out in the fucking rear. Every rib came back rare. Any asshole can cook steaks. I'm glad you say it. I got to do something different. You're absolutely right. And the more comfortable I get with this jerk off, the more, the more they take advantage of me. But I'll be honest with you, he doesn't step up to the plate tomorrow, let him go get somebody to place it. It breaks my heart. What all the fucking truth? I'm tired of it. That's that what pisses me off. That is exactly what I wanted to hear in the middle of service. And I'm not going to count on Jose doing the job anymore and just sit back and let this guy do what he want. Ain't happening. It's either I make changes now or I fail. I don't want to fail. After witnessing two failed dinner services, Gordon spent the night devising a plan to alleviate the problems in the kitchen. Let's discuss. Menu. OK, there we are. Well, now, the secret behind this is we're going to streamline the menu. We've increased the meat. We've brought down the appetizers, the greens, the sides, desserts. Look at the size of the menu, Jose. That is done to the maximum ability of what we've got to cook out of from downstairs. This new menu is going to be more better for us to knock all the food out. It's going to be easy for me. Tomorrow, we're going to relaunch this restaurant as a unique Italian steakhouse. Sammy, what do you think? I'm blown away by it. What an awesome menu. It's so much nicer. It's smaller. It's more attractive. Got some really nice uh, entrees there. Really yeah. awesome. Changing to an Italian steakhouse totally made a lot of sense because I have too much competition. I think now we have something to show people. We're oozing quality, freshness, great steaks, great wine. Happy? I'm ex yeah. Yeah. Lauren? excited. Excited. Yeah. OK, good. I was very nervous, had a lot of doubts. But after seeing the menu, I'm not so nervous anymore. I feel more confident and so prepared now to do something different. Let's go. Coming up. Everybody make their food like that. If not, it's not acceptable. With the relaunch upon them. You make the ensalada Mediterranean? Yeah, I told not ready. Will the kitchen be able to handle the new steakhouse menu? I'm not on that fucking side tonight. Come on. Can Sammy keep his cool under pressure? Oh my god. Son of a fucking bitch. Will Jose step up? Come on, Jose. Or could this be the night that finally sinks Sammy's ship? Right now, I don't know. 
With the relaunch dinner just hours away, Gordon meets Sammy and the staff to introduce the new dishes on the menu. OK, entrees. This is our selling point. The bistecca. We've seen that. It flew out the kitchen. OK, 14-ounce uh, uh, bone in New York steak. Look at it. Six-ounce filet mignon grilled lobster tail. That, for me, is the heartbeat of this restaurant. If we can establish that kind of excitement with our Italian steakhouse, everything else will follow suit. That's our jewel. Dig in, have a taste, get familiar with it, and push it. Unbelievable, right? Try it. Chef Ramsay's menu, compared to my menu, is totally different. Mine was old school. Look at the way it's perfectly cooked. Chef Ramsay's menu is so, so innovative, so different, so new. I like it, and I should have changed it a long time ago. And I tell you right now, I, I want you and everybody to make that food like that. If not, it's not acceptable. See what's over there? Yeah. I want it to be the same all the time. Yeah. Right? And, and, and the appetites, I want it to be the same. I told Manny too. And yeah. I'm telling you. Because you know something, man? I can't be nervous anymore. Where if I'm going to keep this place, I'm not going to keep it. If I'm going to lose it. You hear me? I had to know. This week, with this guy, unbelievable, man. Really opened up my eyes. Yeah. Not to just do the same fucking thing over and over. And look what we got. Nobody gave me fresh ideas. Nobody helping me out. Listen what this guy did. Thank God this guy came. God bless this guy. You know that? It's my fault, you know that? Sitting on my ass, not trying yeah. to make a change. Yeah. Okay? Tonight, I'm counting on Jose. The kitchen has to function better. It has to happen in the kitchen. I want it to work. With a brand new menu and a community willing to give Sabatello's another shot. Hi. Hi. It's got some awesome specials tonight. Homemade lasagna. It's now up to Sammy to show what he's made of. Okay, and also the filet mignon is really good. I am so excited about tonight. Actually, I'm nervous and excited, but it's a good nervous. It's like having little butterflies before you go on stage. What I recommend from the grill is the, you know, the bistecca. It's delicious. With the restaurant now focused on being an Italian steakhouse, Jose's ability to cook meat is put to the test. Come on, Jose. We're grilling steaks and we're cooking to order, yes? Show me it can be done, yeah? Big night. Got to talk. I got it, I got it. Coming up. We're going to split the stacker. How do you like it? Medium, medium. Well, it's good. OK. Big, big, big night tonight. It's relaunch night and a couple of questions unanswered. Can Sammy run the restaurant the way it should be run? And can Jose deliver on a menu that can possibly save this restaurant? Right now, I don't know. Welcome to Subatellos. This is so good, it's like m and going to melt right in your mouth. Wow, I <laughs> Enjoy, sir. Guys, enjoy. I told the guys, this is our last hurrah. If we don't do it tonight, I'm going to lose everything that I work hard for, my family, responsibility to the community, everything. All right, I like the six ounce filet. Portobello uh, flat. Polenta? Yes. Sure. How's that? Good. As orders pile in, you got to start setting some tables out, or else we're going to be in the weeds. The kitchen is about to be put to the test, and so is Sammy's patience. It's a lot of pasta. Make me another one. We need to get this kitchen up and running and get the food to the table a lot quicker. You make the ensalada Mediterranean? Not ready yet. Did you make that spaghetti butter back? So it's not ready. Can you fire it right away? You hear me, pal? I hear you, sir. I feel like I'm babysitting. I hate fucking babysitting. I got to babysit the staff. I got to babysit the kitchen. It's more like bread. Bread. Oh, oh come on. on. You've got to listen to me now. It's stone cold. I don't know why. I'm getting really nervous. I want to keep the customer happy, please. Used to be good cooking. Used to be fast as hell. I don't know what happened. Getting old? And Jose's not doing the work. We kept getting in the weeds. We kept getting behind. Come with me. Here's my worry. 58 covers in. Second turn of service. Table's coming through. Yes? Yes. Service too slow. But this is not normal. This is fucking worse than Spaghetti House. Okay. Is that what you're doing? No. Come on. Fucking hell. I think Jose's kind of lost his, his sense of drive, you know, I guess me being too hard on him. I finally realized that we need to help him out. Show me it can be done, yeah? With everything at stake, Sammy decides to jump behind the line to help Jose. But will he make it better or worse? Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Put it here, put it here, put it here. That's good. Bye-bye. I'll do it. I'm going to do everything myself. Just give me the equipment team. When I'm over there, I need you. Not now. Fuck, I should have this a long time ago. $1,200 in my pocket. It's all good. Here, let's read the thing. Oh, my God. Jose, kill me. Son of a fucking bitch. Watch out, watch out, Todd. Oh, fuck me. It's relaunch night, and knowing it's do or die for Sabatello's, Sammy has jumped behind the line to help. Oh, my God. Son of a fucking bitch. Thanks, tell me, Todd. Cocksucker. 
Thank God that my kitchen guys are uh, not involved in any bombs or rockets or decisions because we all be in danger. Put the meat back up here. You can't take it all. You're not fucking Superman. Come on. Waste of time. Put it, put it, put it. Jose, get it done. All right, you're killing me, damn it. I just want to get through it tonight. I fucking had it. I got it. Do, do, do another ticket. Let me do it. Dude, I'm going to do everything myself. How much longer would we have to wait? I'll double check on the time, but I, I would give it about 25 or 30 minutes. You're still waiting for that table at the bar. What's that? They got the filet mignon. How could you get about that table? Yeah. The machine printed it out down here exactly two minutes after you were in the kitchen. Which, which one you got? I gave you two medium rare, bro. You're the right one, bro. They're confused now. Talk to him in Spanish. Does he understand what he's saying? Does he understand what he's saying? I don't think he understands. You understand, Talk huh? to him in Chinese. Well, this is all going to die here. I'm not on that fucking side tonight. So unorganized. We don't know shit. If they need you back there, you should know what you're doing. It's coming. I promise. They're just, they just wanted to make sure it was nice and hot. It was really frustrating for the six people at the bar, and they were sitting at the bar waiting for their food, and that shouldn't happen. How, how far behind is the... It's coming out right now. Here it comes. Here it comes right now. After a long wait by many of the customers, Gordon hopes the new dishes will be worth the wait. Enjoy, guys. It's really good, though. It's really good. Very good. But this is absolutely delicious. I can't believe the change. Sabatello's relaunch ended successfully. Primarily because when the kitchen struggled early on, Sammy jumped behind the line and helped, instead of spinning out of control. Still shot with these guys. Give me seven on the fly. Beautiful. Hey. Hey. To a better day at Sabatello's. All right? Hey, good luck in the future. Tonight, making these changes to an Italian steakhouse, it was a step in the right direction. I mean, it was a new menu. It was our first time doing it. There, there was a few mistakes. But we're moving forward. I think I think it's gonna it's gonna only get better and help the restaurant. I'm leaving here with the Sammy that I've always wanted. Hey, look at me, seriously, big boy. A man that's back in control. He knows exactly what to do. Move forward and make those changes. I'm gonna do my very best. Yeah. Fuck you now. Thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> Take care. When I first met Chef Ramsay, I thought he was an arrogant jerk. Yes, it is. And then I kind of saw the way he comes about it. He really does care. And he made me realize I have a purpose. And he got something out of me that I haven't had come out in a long time. And that's hunger, creativity. It's the will of doing good again. Take care. My god, finally. I honestly thought I'd have to wait for a lunar eclipse before that guy seriously got the message. And who knows, sometimes miracles can happen. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. My business is about to close. Gordon is in Hollywood. My God, you fucking idiots! To save a restaurant that is so unbelievable. Sir, put your hands in front of you. It feels more like the set of a Hollywood movie. Starring a desperate owner. There is a fucking boss here. So don't argue about everything. His angry son. Shut the fuck up and stop picking on me. And a manager who just loves to decorate. I like to make pretty and nice. I don't respect Mark. I mean, what else does the guy do? He's an interior decorator, for God's sake. <laughs> this movie is part tragedy. Congratulations. It's a fucking disgrace. Part comedy. <laughs> Mate, I don't like it, but you clearly do. Good boy. And part drama. What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't fucking start with me. But for Gordon Ramsay, it's a shocking horror epic. Ma, what's the matter? That just might be his toughest challenge yet. Whenever I see that, I'm gonna be best off! Tonight, it's the world premiere of Sante La Brea. The City of Angels, famous for its movie stars, stunning coastline, and healthy lifestyle. The ideal place to have a healthy restaurant. But in spite of its location, Sante La Brea is in critical condition. It's chewy. It's like meat, but not. 
Dean, the owner, and his two sons, Arthur and Sammy, have been running Sante for nearly 10 years. Uh, dry red wine. So what, what does that mean? I don't only really drink, bro. But business has dwindled to almost nothing, and this father-son team is in desperate need of Gordon Ramsay's help. I'm the owner. I'm the cook. I'm the janitor. I also do all the maintenance. Is the water still on? With a thin, very thin thread, I'm holding this place slide. You want to take his table? Oh, maybe dad should. Hell fucking no. Uh, you want it to be good, right? This place is running like without a fucking captain. I don't think my dad can really be a manager. But how about you just man up, man? Sack up and do this shit, man. I always wanted to be surrounded with good, intelligent, strong people. I needed help, like genuine help. I hired Mark about six months ago. There's a lot of food here, I don't know who it's oh, for. Sure. My role here is a little bit undefined. It was really no job title. I'll be the hostess, I'm the best hostess. We don't know, we don't know what he does. I think of Mark more of the interior decorator. I want to make it feel like a, a nice, welcoming home. I do what needs to be done. I treat it as though it's mine. I've worked here since I was 15 years old. I don't remember the last time it was like busy. Just hold your breath, it's only seven o'clock. The nightmare is the fact that I'm not making money. My father is in at least $200,000 debt. I owe everybody. I owe the landlord, taxes, vendors, short on my mortgage. It's really sad. I, I gave it my all. I, it's my heart and my soul and my time. All right, man. All right. Everything is uh, in jeopardy. I stand to lose everything. Right, I think we need Chef and Ramsey's help because we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Everyone at Santa La Brea is getting ready for Chef Ramsay's arrival. I'm nervous and excited about meeting Chef Ramsay. It's like being awake in a dream. Aurelio didn't show up. Fucking Aurelio didn't show up again. But owner Dean has just received upsetting news. He locked his phone and his home phone, his phone is no answer. Aurelio, baby, where are you, man? I need you. His head chef, Aurelio, is nowhere to be found. Come over, OK? I really need you today. OK, bye. Aurelio is a no-show today, so it's like, uh, what else is new? Motherfucking Christ. I'm a little bit nervous to meet Chef Ramsey. I heard that guy's like fucking 6'2 and shit, like he's a fucking monster. La Brea Avenue, one of the busiest streets in LA and home to hundreds of successful restaurants. One thing's for sure, the location is not an issue. I'm about to find out what is. My God. How are you? Chef Ramsey. Good to meet you. This is Dean, yes? Yes, it is. Good All to right. see you. Good to see you too. So, oh. This is different. This is yes. A, this, welcome huh? to my place. It is different. Give me a... Um, a little tour? A little tour, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, this has been remodeled lately, not too long ago. Oh, and I just put that in together. It's supposed to be wheat grass. It's easy. You've got all grass growing at the yes, corner. Yes, wheat grass growing. Oh, you grew that? Yes, we do. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. Actually... That there? Excellent. <laughs> okay. You got to... <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm not going to give it to you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> huh? Something about Chef Randy, it just uh, freezes a part of your, your, your brain. So, the food, tell me about the food. Is it all vegan? Vegetarian? No. 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 We're, we have chicken and fish. Chicken and fish. Yes, we do. I've always vegan. Everything in the kitchen is made, made in two versions. Either vegan versions or non-vegan versions. How many chefs you got in the brigades? Uh, what a head fuck. I have, actually, I have none today. My chef didn't show up. Is he sick? Is he...? I don't know. He's just vanished. Everyone takes advantage of me. I'm not really making money. I actually was spending money for last year. What's the problem with the restaurant? Straight off, what is it? Really, money money is the issue here. Mark spent $5,000 on these things. They bought $5,000 worth of product. products. So Mark's your partner? Mark is not my partner. He's just lending me $10,000. Mark is just a big talker. He just talks too much. He makes makes many ideas he doesn't follow up with. Nice to meet you. Likewise, really, good really, to see you. Nice to meet you. Really Heard nice. so much about you. Explain to me what you do. Um, right now, I've been trying to make the place just a little more hip, a little more fresh, a little more modern. Right. OK, tell me about the design. What are you, what's the vision here? I want it to be like no other place you've ever seen. Which You're is definitely, right. definitely not wrong there. That's for sure. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm dying to get something to eat, get okay. up to speed of tasting some grass. Do you, yeah. <laughs> Do you um, want a picture? I'm a little bit hot. I'm going to sit outside in the okay. terrace and... Uh, so I'll bring you a menu. Yeah, get some fresh air. Nice to meet you, Mark. It's nice to meet you, too. Really Likewise. Good, really. Thank you. Sweaty hands. Your hands are sweaty. 
Mine? Yeah. I'm very hot. I'm very hot. And I only wore this for you, and it's hot, so I can change it now. Excellent. He is H O T hot. Hot, 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 hot. Good afternoon, Chef Ramsey. Sammy, how are you, buddy? I'm all right, man. We got a couple Good of glasses. Thank you. What can Thank I get you. for you? I'll go for the patty melt, the turkey, please. Nice. Patty melt. OK. And then I'm fascinated, uh, which I've never come across before, the mogul dufu. What is that? It's like a... It's like... <laughs> it's like a stir-fry, mixed vegetable stir-fry with, uh, with black bean sauce. It's a little bit spicy. OK. Yeah. And then I'll finish off with the blackened salmon. Thank you. Brilliant. All right. Get it. Wow. Mono tofu. Got a Orale, way! A grande order, man. Come on. Hey. What's the your dog's name, please? Tubbs. Tubbs. Look at it. Turkey patty melts. Turkey patty melts. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. What is he eating right now that he's looking like he's picking through it like it's dog shit? Turkey melts. My God. This restaurant prides itself on being healthy. That does not look healthy. That is dry, and they are disgusting. Come here. Look, smell, tubs. There you go. <laughs> A little bit more tubs. There you go, buddy. <laughs> He's feeding the turkey patty most of the dog, dude. I saw him feeding the burger to the dog. First of all, I'm so glad the dog ate it. <laughs> I was so glad, because I thought if the dog doesn't eat this burger, we're fucked. Uh, this here is a mobu dofu. <laughs> oh, come on. This is a joke. He doesn't like it. The no mobu dofu means shit in Chinese, that's for sure. <laughs> He's looking loud. He's ripping. He's ripping. He's, He's his ripping. Ass. Rice cooked to hell. And. I'm stuck here in the center of La Brea with my do food. Oh, come on. That is shocking. My God. That's what he was, that's what he was ripping apart. Oh, that's horrible, though. <laughs> Maybe he can get through to Dean about the food. You can smell it, you can taste it, you can talk. And this is the salmon here. Black and salmon. Black and salmon, absolutely. OK. Very black. and it tastes way too fishy for salmon. Like it's been in a refrigeration unit that's not even properly cool. Disgusting. God, the food is bad. How was it? Just in terms of the presentation, it looked like a dog's dinner. Mm. Then you get to taste it. Mm -hmm. It's hideous. Healthy food yeah. does not have to look like shit and taste crap. No, really sorry. I agree with you. So, oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh, not that bad. Show me where the salmon is. It was smelling fishy. Unfucking believable. Fresh salmon. Oh dear. That's wild salmon. When did it come in? Yesterday. Yesterday. My salmon was very fishy. You got all that in there yesterday? Yes. Yeah. So you got the salmon and the turkey in the same container melting. So the chicken comes in fresh? Yes, it does. Yeah. I guess this is extra, you know, whenever we have it. Why are you lying? No, I'm not lying to you. This is not exactly what I expected to find in a healthy restaurant. What else is in here? One of Chef Ramsay found all the stuff that's been there for a long time. It's rotten. It was very disturbing to me. Your food is about as healthy as these vegetables. I didn't realize that nobody looks in the refrigerator. Were you going to serve this tonight? No. All of a sudden, Dean, there's a lot of food in there that you're not serving. When I smell bullshit, hey, I go straight to the fucking juggler. I felt destroyed. It was unbelievable. I, I feel like breaking down completely. I. Let the chef take care of the, 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 the refrigerator. I don't look into it. This is your business. Yes, it is. It is true. There's nothing for me to say. The biggest problem in this restaurant is you. Congratulations. It's a fucking disgrace. Coming up. More 
Why did you lose a pile of shit? Gordon transforms Dean. What? Oh, you fucking idiot! And gets him to take control of his business. There is a boss here. Even if I'm wrong, just do it. But there is still chaos in the kitchen. Come right fucking here. order! What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't fucking start with me. Can manager Mark take the heat? And then later, one shocking surprise. Sir, put your hands in front of you. That will change Santi La Brea forever. After Gordon discovered the deplorable conditions of the food storage. It's rotten. Owner Dean is devastated. I mean, is it okay if I sit down? Dad got very emotional. I felt like the hopelessness kind of feeling from him, you know, in a way, and it was really fucking sad. What happened today, man, will not happen again because we got Mr. Gordon on the other side. Yeah, you, yeah, you goddamn right it won't ever happen again. And all these things supposed to be dumped by goddamn Aurelio yesterday. Look at it, there he is. Where have you been? Yeah. I think bring that somewhere. Two hours late, Chef Aurelio finally shows up for work. You better fucking deal with this like a man. That's all I gotta say. What happened to all this stuff inside the refrigerator is all bad and moldy and shit and stuff like that. We should have dumped it before. Do you remember our eggplant's supposed to be dumped? You know, it's OK. Who cares? Dude, yo, man, we had a fucked up situation today, man. Can we even trust this guy? Can we trust you anymore or what? I mean, I don't know, man. No, man, we trust him. Take him back with open arms. Yeah, seriously. It's, it's the cancer can't. you're talking we can't. about. We can't do this anymore. My dad's got no balls, man. He got no balls in terms of this. He can't get rid of them. Can you get inside and look and see what's going on, please? Take care of everything. I'm distressed. You know, I can't serve any food without it. I'm stuck here. I have no choice. I got to keep him because I wouldn't have no one otherwise. Ugh. I see the tears falling, Dad. I really want to cry. Sorry, man. Give me good. Come here. Give me a hug, man. Show me some love. Let's see some, let's see some, some fatherly love and shit. All this chaos, all this confusions. This is the worst thing can happen to a restaurant owner, actually. It's kind of cringing to me. It makes me feel bad. Four for dinner? Yes. Come on with me, please. Judas Burgers it is, and for yourself, sir. Uh, the saffron? Now that Chef Aurelio is here for dinner, Gordon has an opportunity to see if the restaurant food is any better when the chef is around. Did you see the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anything to say, or? No, I don't have anything. Nothing to say. It's my fault. He knows it's my fault, I guess. It is, it is my responsibility, after all. I'm just a cook. I'm not in touch. I can do whatever I want here, so, you know, that's why I never go somewhere else. I need pants, dude. Pants? I need pants. You have some more pants ready? No. The chef hasn't put the stuff back in the fridge? They, they didn't, you, you know, they got busy, so. They got busy? Mamma Why are you scared of the chefs? Uh, because if they leave, nobody is going to be served. Aurelio is one of those entities in my life that I can't live with and I can't live without. I'm tired, dude. We have a uh, Mediterranean platter. It's like hummus, tabbouleh, five ganoush and pita. That's so like good. It's too heavy. It's too square. It's not the worst. <laughs> it's not the best, though. <laughs> it's, not good. it's an hour into service, and dinner conversation at this restaurant is primarily about the poor food. Bite my fork, whatever. Will you, will, you, will you bite this and tell me this is good? OK. Will you bite it's this? Real. This is good. <laughs> right. Maybe I should give them a recipe of how to make the best. <laughs> Excited about eating healthily this evening? No, we're not very happy with this. No, right. So it's not very good. Damn. Thank you. Enjoy. Having heard the general sentiment of the customers, Gordon heads back to the kitchen to get to the root of the problem. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> what he is almost that? got in all together. Uh, unduck. It's duck, but it's unduck. It's fake, fake duck. Fake duck. So you call it what? We call it unduck. 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 Right now, I feel like I'm getting completely fucked. Is that popular? Yeah, it is. Actually, a lot of people ask for that, too. Unduck. Fuck duck. Fuck duck. <laughs> That's fake fish. 
fake fish. <laughs> and it looks like fish and tastes like fish and it's got seaweed on, on the outside. We have everything that's on. This is incredible. So far I've had unduck, unfish, and unfucking believable. What a mess. Not my favorite. No. A. God bless Los Angeles. You're joking, aren't you? After a disappointing dinner service. Thank you so much. I hope to guys see you guys again. Thank Thanks again. Thanks Have a great week. Gordon confronts the staff with the harsh reality of the situation. I'm somewhat confused. Um, nobody seems to take and accept responsibility. Everybody's a free-for-all. No rules, no one's fear for the job, just a lack of care. I, mean, I think a manager needs to make sure that things happen. All these things that are unattended to, I, I have to take blame for. It's all me. For some reason, people are not listening to me. My management style is not functional, it's not working. Let me tell you. Yeah, what the problem is here at Sante. Lack of management, yeah, that's clear, that's happening. But let me tell you the biggest problem here. The biggest problem here is the food. Not just the food, it's the bullshit. Everything's a gimmick, on chicken, on duck. Your philosophy is not healthy style. The shit I uncovered in the freezer, the discovery in the fridge. You've got grass hanging from the ceiling. It's like fucking Lord of the Flies up there. Have you seen the shit hovering around there? <laughs> I am not going any further until this place is fucking clean. And I mean spotless. If a health inspector had witnessed what I witnessed, just in one of the fridges, bang, game over. Clean this fucking pigsty. This place does not deserve an A. And the only thing you're getting from me tonight is that, an F. There, it's staying on. And guys, I'll take it down tomorrow, personally, yeah, when it's up to the standard of an A. Now move your fucking asses. There, it's staying on. After giving Santi La Brea an F for their filthy kitchen. I'll take it down tomorrow, personally, yeah, when it's up to the standard of an A. Now move your asses. The staff worked through the night. The flask on the eye of this one cleaning every inch of the restaurant. I certainly was going to have Gordon come through and say, what is the matter here? Did you not listen? A thorough cleaning is the first step that Santi La Brea has taken in the right direction. But before Gordon can change the menu or the food, he needs to change its owner. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you feeling? <laughs> very good. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm tough fine. day yesterday. Yes, it was very tough. Yeah, really tough, but tougher than I expected. What worries me is that the burden is on these. You're not letting go. You're not releasing any of that pressure. It must be so frustrating inside because nobody's listening, Dean. That's the problem. The chef's not even listening. You employ them. They don't employ you. You have to know how to talk to these staff. You're correct. Yeah. We're now standing on the top of the canyon. Nobody, yeah, can hear us. So what I want you to do is let it out. Let's start off with Mark first, yeah? What have you got to say to him? Get, get the fuck out of my life. I don't want you around. Yeah. That's it? That's how you tell staff? Pathetic. Here we go. Mark! Understand that you're here to run the restaurant, yeah? Not to run crap up my walls. Start listening to me now. Chef Aurelio, if you ever leave my kitchen that state again, look for a new job, you little fucker! Aurelio. Why, what, what's going on with you? Didn't I tell you to go ahead and clean the goddamn refrigerator? Fuck. It's not difficult, it's business. You have to get a grip before it's too late. I want to know from you, face to face, that you are going to accept responsibility and, more importantly, take control. I've got to hear you. It is hard for me to let go, but, you know, I have to take Chef Ramsey's advice. Mark! That's better. Good. Listen, no more shit, no more fucking fucking around, no Good. more whatever it is that you bring, no more feng shui shit, and don't put the Good. mirror here. The, Good. I want to put that there. Just Good. do it for me this time, please. This just, just this time. What the hell? No more, okay? Good. No more. Excellent. I really Give it to him, you limp dick! 
Aurelio, what the fuck? I know you for so long, and I know your family. I was stupid enough one, one time, three times, four times, six times, Good. ten times I took you back, man. Who the fuck is in charge in this motherfucking kitchen? Good. Well done. Now, that sounds like a boss. It feels great to just scream out and say those things. I'm not used to doing that. Wake up, you idiots! Last one. Here we go. Wake up, you fucking idiots! God damn it! Excellent. Good. Hey. Gordon right now kind of gave me a little bit more confidence. I'm ready now to go ahead and do my job a lot better. How do you feel? Great. Having completed the exercise, Dean returns to Sante and puts Gordon's lesson into action. Unfortunately, it's with his son. What the hell happened to all my apples here? Oh, please, man, I took this shit out. I don't want to see the, the end of the bottles here. I took them out, I'm not putting them back. Don't talk to me like this anymore, OK? Yeah. Don't fuck, even if I'm fucking wrong. Dude, so you were my dad exploded. Ass, it was a Kodak fucking moment, man. There is a fucking boss here. So don't argue about everything. Just do it. It's my bullshit. I'm responsible. <laughs> he fucking he laid it out, man. Like a little fellow to fucking flame and shit came out. It was awesome. It was great. At the end of your sentences, say, but I'll do whatever you want, sir. OK, mash it. Am I the boss here or not? You are. Then. Listen, listen to me. That's it. Smash. After Dean released his frustration, everything settled down, just in time for Gordon to inspect the kitchen. Good. Peppers? Fresh, yes? Fresh it is. Good. Gordon came in, and he kind of checked everything out. And yeah, everything was good. Everything was clean, top notch. Welcome back. Yes? Yeah? Yeah. Keep it there. Yes. Yes? Thank God it, the F did not stay more than, you know, 10 hours <laughs> overnight. Never been. With the kitchen now in proper working condition, Gordon turns his attention to the food. Two specials on the menu tonight, yes? First dish is a halibut. We're going to cook it in the marinade. Second dish, salad of shrimp, local shrimp. It's really nice to see Chef Ramsay be able to take his je ne sais quoi and bring it down to our level, like we're doing ghetto Gordon. Shrimp dotted around. It's a celebration of California, and now, on halibut, two vibrant, straightforward dishes. It's 30 minutes before dinner service, and although everything appears to be moving in the right direction, Mom. Gordon gathers the group for an important meeting. Now, Dean, yesterday, mm -hmm. there were some serious infractions in this restaurant. Yes. Spoiled food, yeah, problems throughout, yes? Here he is. Do what you have to do. Sir, put your hands in front of you. Almost together. Okay. Do what you have to do. It is. Sir, put your hands in front of you. Palms together. I had, whoa, like what? What the heck is that? What did I do? And I said, where did I break the law? I, it was a scary moment. I am fed up, up to here, with you, walking around, picking up after your chef, running around after your sons, after Mark. Tonight, you're not doing that. You're not touching anything tonight. You're going to tell them exactly what you're doing. Run your business vocally. You're not getting arrested, you silly Billy. Hey, relax. Look at him. He's about to cry. Jesus no, Christ. I see what you mean. You're yes, right. that's right. My dad's supposed to be a manager. He's supposed to be verbally conducting the situation, as opposed to, like, physically cleaning about their people. Thank you, Bob. OK, first table just about to arrive. Let's go. Good luck, by the way. Thank you. Try not to show the handcuffs. Keep them tucked in there, yes? <laughs> Let's go. OK, guys. I'm supposed to be the boss, so I can't help you, OK? okay. Just do it, but you can. I'm very, very excited about tonight, and I, I'm looking forward to see this place swamped. Now I'm going to try not to let things go out of hand. Good evening. Nice to see you. Come Hi, through, how please. Are you? Sorry to keep you waiting. This is Mark, our hostess for the evening. Hi. How nice are you? Nice to see you. I get you guys some beer and wine tonight? Push the specials, yes? Yes. Now, I'm going to explain the specials real briefly. We have a, a spiced halibut, which is marinated in uh, fresh yogurt. And then we also have a shrimp salad. The specials are really good, um, and they'll be gone quickly. I'll have the special, the halibut special. You got it. OK, this is for table two, two halibut specials. Showtime. I can't, I can't clap. But... Did you want something to drink? 
Okay, Moretti and? Moretti, 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 Moretti. Mom, who's tricking again? Oh no, he's a napkin. It was a warm night here in LA. I thought, oh, I'll be smart. I'll wear a light shirt. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good. How are you? Do you guys have a reservation? He's touching them with his sweaty palms. Don't touch the customers. I wasn't sweating that much, but the shirt was catching all of my sweat. Oh. I don't like wearing deodorant. What can I tell you? Damp it down or dry it or absorb it. I don't know, but it's all leaking over. Oh, my god. Oh, motherfuck. <sighs> <laughs> Don't touch anything. I can't help it. It was torturing to have to be in a handcuffs and just trying to work normal way. What is this doing here? Can you take it to the front, please? Right now. Hurry, hurry. Hurry up. Like, run. Run, run, run. Come on. I'm always tying the loose ends for everyone. Now I cannot. Okay, halibut now, OK? One halibut for this order. This is one of them for table two. Get the halibut ready? This is ready. Take that, take that, take that. Oh, ladies. Thank you. Enjoy. Looks beautiful. Oh, it's really good. The specials have nearly sold out, which is great news. Now, Mark, well, he's just sweating like a pig, running around like a headless chicken and sweating all over the place. As for Dean, I don't think this guy's finding it easy. He's struggling not to run around after his own staff. Crazy. This one is this one. You sure of table two? Yes, yes, just go. It's fine, table two. That's the last halibut, right? Did um, you want any of the specials? Because I could maybe hold one, because I think they're going to be gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I definitely want to Okay, I'm just holding to hold those three halibuts, OK, until they get your order, all right? Aurelio, Aurelio, will you hold three of the specials on table four? Give me a ticket, please. OK. Give me a ticket. All right. The halibut, I'm out of right now. So sorry. You said you still have one halibut left? Or no, no? no more, no more, no more. So what is this going to do with this one? Mark. Can you come here for a second? First of all, you took an order? You took a fucking order! Don't fucking do it, god damn it! Mark should be taking an order. He doesn't know how to take an order. He's he's always making mistakes. And I let it out. Just listen listen to me. I understand. I understand. I'm the fucking boss I here. I understand. I understand. It's crystal clear. It's crystal clear, Dean. Crystal clear. I made a poor choice at that moment. It's not like I spit in someone's suit. Are you guys at a pause or no, stance? Uh, Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for any more wine or anything? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You've got menus tucked yeah. under your sweaty arms. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, you can't tuck menus under your sweaty armpits and then hand them out. Yeah, I hear you. Mark, please. What is he doing now? Menus tucked under his armpit. Gordon, please, they send him home. Send him. I don't need him. It's your fucking member of staff. The motherfucker has to leave. Mark has this very, very bad sweaty armpits, and he put the menu under his arm. You have to take care of that. It was ugly. Go home and change that shirt, goddammit. Please, please. Got, Just run, run back, yes, OK? Yes, run yes, back. Yes. You got it, you got it. Do something. As Mark heads home to get a new shirt, back at the restaurant, customers are lining up, and Gordon is on a mission of his own. Hello, sir. Um, I've got a friend that sweats a lot. I'm looking for a really strong antiperspirant, but really strong. Thank you. And I'll take both of these. Thank you, boss. Thank you. It's a different shirt. It's heavier. I'll probably sweat more. But at least people won't see it, because it's a dark shirt, hopefully. If this one takes the sweat, Gordon will probably kick my fucking ass. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. OK, good, good, good. OK, now stop that. Thank you, sir. OK. Hey, quick. Jesus Christ. Secret, made for a lady, strong enough for a man. He's a fucking funny little limey bastard. All right, come here, let's go. I would like to think you've learned your lesson. Look at me. If he undoes these, yes. yes, I want a guarantee they're going to run your business. Yes. And not pick up things. Yes. Bob, do the honors, please. Thank you. Sure. I'm positive. Yeah? Don't fall back to your old ways. I won't. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Bob. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Dino, Thank move, you. huh? Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Ah. No, no, no. Ahorita, when you're ready, I can take another order. Let me know. Once Dean's cuffs are released, his managerial skills are put to the test. There's a hair in our No way. 
And then her pasta was cold. Oh my god, that is there. What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make another order of penny? It's gonna take long. I don't know if they wanna wait. Do it now. I'm waiting to boil this shit, man. Just take the hot water from here. Take it easy, relax. I don't want to take relax. it easy. Relax, relax. Just take it out of there. I just want Aurelia to understand what's really going on. I needed to be the boss. I needed to actually do my job. You want to cook? I don't want to cook. No, I want man, you to cook. Man. Just listen to okay, me. go to the back. Don't stay here. Go I want to the stay back. here, and you're going to do what I'm asking. Go just do it. No. Go to the back. Listen, Aurelia. Stupid. Shit, what a fucking attitude. After another disappointing dinner service comes to an end... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gordon tries to make sense of one of the most bizarre evenings he's ever witnessed. The good news first. Within 15 minutes of announcing the specials, the halibut sold out. Dean, tonight showed significant signs, yeah, of becoming a better manager. Unfortunately, I had to handcuff you in order to get that out of you. The biggest problem, still, in this restaurant, is the food. The feedback is the food is bland, boring, and barely mediocre. Tomorrow, we are going to relaunch this restaurant. I want people to say, La Sante, yes, is the healthy restaurant where the food tastes great! Coming up... What? 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 A crisis in the kitchen pushes Dean over the edge. Vesta! And Aurelio out the door. What's the matter? You are not going to believe what happens next. Aurelio! On Kitchen Nightmares. If there were ever a restaurant that needed a makeover, it was Santi La Brea. And Gordon's crew worked through the night to pull it off. Excited? Big, big, big day today. Take off your blindfolds. The new Santi La Brea. Clean, fresh, and green. This is beautiful. We decluttered the canopy. Inviting. Fresh. Here we go. Outside oh patio. Right, come oh through. Look. Oh no dirty white curtain. Fresh shades. Hand painted blinds. New benches. Oh, this is fucking comfortable, man. Look at the color of it. Nice, new, vibrant. It's almost like the dream materialized. Everything I was dreaming about just came and flashing in my face. What a change. What a vibrant, <gasps> sexy, healthy change. Awesome. I moved to tears so much. He's a brilliant man. So cool. Ready to go inside? Oh, yes. Yes? Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We painted the entire restaurant. We added a beautiful mural on the wall. I was floored. I mean, if my mouth could, like, unhook, it would have done that. No more tacky plastic tablecloths. A proper, healthy, vibrant, fresh restaurant. No clutter. You two, just don't clutter the place I up again. Not this is what LA wants. This makes an incredible statement. They took what we had and they made it better and smarter and beautiful. Now this. Oh, my God. The menu. Oh Absolutely my Absolutely crucial. When you come into something healthy, and vibrant. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh why is the wife? Dad got really emotional when he saw the new menu. I'm so happy to see my dad happy. We're not looking through 150 bits of crap. It's fresh. And if it's not fresh, it's not on there. I'm happy for you. You deserve it, and your sons deserve it. Thank you, man. No question this is a good beginning. I would never, ever be able to do it without Chef fans. OK, absorb, have some fun, and I'll see you in five, 10 minutes, yes? Well done. In preparation for the big relaunch, Gordon introduces the staff to the new dishes. Gone is the bland mogo dufu and dried out fish. In their place. Wonderful chilled tomato soup, egg white frittata, the eggplant, sea bass, cassoulet, the lentils, the salads, and your favorite, the tofu, yeah? It's yes. been grilled. It's the most important night so far of Santa Libra. Mark, you're hosting tonight. Greet, sit them down, don't take any orders. You got it, <laughs> no worries. Well, don't just stand there staring at the food. Get some nice water, taste it. It was an amazing day today. Brand new restaurant, brand new menu, brand new feeling, brand new man. It's relaunch night, and time for the world premiere of the new Sante La Brea. Hi, how are you guys tonight? How are we doing? We okay? I don't want to see clutter here, all right? I want everything to be clean at all times, okay? Halibut? Wonderful, wonderful. Sea bass. Like the cheese appetizer. Sure. 
this mushroom with the cheese first, and then the tuna and the beet salad. Thank you, man. Did you decide if you like any wine? Santa Barbara. The Santa Barbara? State. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Can I, you don't want me to bring wine? I thought you, he wants me to sell wine, so I'm trying to... Do you want me to just tell them then? Okay. Mark, once again, he didn't listen to my instruction, and he was taking an order. And uh, I wanted to take control of that. I already told you once. Who the fuck is in charge? Don't take an order. I won't. I won't. OK, relax. I won't. Tell me once. I'm telling you again. You told me to take drinks. I won't. I won't. Don't take an order. Don't Dean is the boss. Dean is the owner. Dean's word is gold. Dean's feeling the pressure as more and more customers arrive at Sante. So put things in, the, in, in its own place and don't eat, don't drink, don't do anything here. This is not good, OK? Whenever I see that, I'm going to be best off! And his kitchen staff is starting to feel it, too. Just hurry up a little bit. you gotta, you got to run a little bit. Just hurry up a little bit. No, Just I want hurry up a little bit. I need the food out. I can do those two things at the same time. Just listen to what I'm saying. Do it fast. You really want me to live? Look, I keep in mind what I say, OK? What? I mean, what? I'm keeping in mind what I say, god damn it. Stop it. Goodbye. Fuck out of my life. I'll do it. Next, let's go. Eat salad. Be right with you in a second. You want to treat me like he's old, he, old he's employee? That's a bullshit. I'm not like the other guys. Where is our grilled cheese and our hummus? Hey, what? Come here. What's going on? What the fuck is going on? What's the matter? Get the right, fuck right. out of here. I don't need it. Get out. I'm tired of this shit. Aurelio! Aurelio! Fucking relaunch night. Come on. What? What's going on? What the fuck is going on? What's the matter? Get right, right. I don't what need a fuck. Fed up with Dean's new management style, Chef Aurelio takes off during the restaurant's most important dinner service. Aurelio! Fucking relaunch night. Come on! What in the fuck? What happened? He's going like this, you know, going slowly. I can't fucking wait for it. I said, hurry up and listen to me. He don't listen. So, God damn it, I don't care. Enough already. It's the end of the line. I'm not going to take it anymore. This is unbelievable. The fucking chef's run. Dean's going fucking crazy. What have I created? A monster said, run your business, but don't start really slamming into everybody. The restaurant's filling up. This guy's fucking mad. I just want to I wanna say I'm sorry to the chef Brancy. I want to tell him who is Dean, you know, like, he's not a good man. Come here, come I just want to say I'm sorry. OK, no, 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 but listen, okay. listen, come here. This is important. This is launch night. I can't beg the fucker. You do care, don't I you? I can't. I beg you all my okay. life. At least, you don't want to listen to me. At least pay me the rest of the money, you all. That's all you fucking care about. I'm not going to be in your goddamn oh. set. I'm not going to work you without pay. pay. OK, how much money do you owe? He owe me 140 OK, here, here, here. No, 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 come here. There's That's 100. Okay. OK, the rest that comes after service. Please. Cool. I is going to do this tonight for because of him. Yeah. OK, thank you. Thank you. Come here. Calm down. Big deep breath, yeah? Pretend you're in a yoga class. Just cool, cool. Now, discipline, yeah? But don't screw it, OK? Big deep breath. It's an hour into dinner service. Right, thank you, yes? And Aurelio's absence has caused a backup in the kitchen. Grill four portions, so you stay in front, yeah? Yeah. She's ready to stab herself in the head. Out in the dining room, customers are left waiting for their food. We've been sitting here for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes only? I have some people waiting here for longer than that. Sorry about that. Like We're, this is brand new. I'm, I, will, I'm... I was watching everything fall apart. You know, food coming out. Our customers were like waiting, hungry, waiting, hungry, waiting, hungry. With a dining room full of hungry customers, Gordon tries to salvage the evening. We started off badly. Yes? yes. Really badly. Yes. Can we at least finish? Strong. You have to, look at me, motivate the team as well, yes? Get a grip. Yes. Let's go, yes? Go. Breathe deep. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about anything. Just do the best you can. See, man, for table one, right? You want. Go. OK, one more thing. This restaurant belongs to all of us. Eggplants. We all have a lot of passion for it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now it seems like we're closer together. Look at it, it's beautiful. It does. It does. Mine's really good. And I really like the sauce and the vegetables too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
It made me feel this much better. <laughs> I learned a lot from this experience about myself, what I'm capable of, what I can do. I learned how to manage this place. <laughs> After a less than spectacular start, the staff at Sante La Brea rallies and pulls off a successful relaunch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've come a long way since the beginning of the week. Trust me, this place definitely felt like a completely different restaurant from the one I entered when I first arrived here. Hey, each and every one of you cared, full of passion, energetic, and more importantly, we didn't give up. Work together as a team, yes? You guys are a family. Okay, good night. Good to see you. Thank yeah? you so much. Line-wise, good to see you too. Appreciate Put a smile on that face. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Yeah? Pleasure meeting you. I need two minutes with you. Guys, give me two minutes, please, yes? Right, take a seat. Okay. You have everything you need yes. to make this place successful. I honestly, truly believe in it. So manage it and don't be scared. I'll try. I seriously want this to work. I'm rooting for your success. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> Make it work. You got two great boys there. Huh? Molodufu. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Thank you so much. Molodufu!